Yeah, let's go! Hello everyone, I am Mr. Mike and I am back for more World and Shaken. I'm starting off on the tile screen because I've seemed to start off most of these episodes Wario. showing off our main menu with Wario just shaking his butt in front of the in front of that telescope. So I just decided to mix things up a little bit. So, yeah, in the last episode, we finished off the last two levels of Jiggle Jungle. That's still a funny name. And now in this episode, we're gonna take on the boss. Bloomsday, as we can see from the text bubble. Let me see it again. Bloomsday welcomes you. Come closer and be blown away. Interesting. I definitely want to be blown away by this boss. I like this boss. This will be a fun one. But, first off, I should say, if I sound a little bit quiet to you, I'm doing this at night because I just, I just want to record some stuff right now. Enter Bloomsday Blowout. Yeah, I'm just doing this at night and some of my other family members are going to sleep, so I don't want to be too loud. Hopefully I won't be too loud. Hopefully this won't disturb them. It shouldn't. Ah, so pretty. Nice mix of green and blue. So it's pretty vibrant colors. Thank you, Murples. Let's see our boss. Oh, a pot? A plant? Oh no, what's this? Hey, stop blowing me! Oh, that should tip us off. No, don't blow me away! Well, he wanted us to blow, to be blown away. Whoa, watch out! This is Bloomsday! So, here, he has... He's a pretty fun boss, like, he... I'll show you what you have to do. Like, he'll blow and suck around it continuously, and he'll try knocking you into that guy trap right there. So, uh oh, he's shooting out Bumble Prods. Watch out for that. When he blows, hold down so that you're crouching because that will keep you in place. We'll see again. Let's see if I can throw this at him. There we go. We just, if we get a good throwable enemy, watch out. Ow. Right. If we get a good throwable enemy, we have to throw it at him and then dash into him several times. Once he. Oh, hold down. Hold on tight, Wario. This will be a pretty bumpy ride. Bend and arrows. We gotta get. Gotta knock him down. And when he jumps, he'll just do that. So be aware. And also watch out for the bumble prods. He went up in the sky. I didn't mean for him to go flying away like that. Gonna get you flipping. Aw, oh, I should have hit. You have to hit his face, by the way. I like this boss. Got good animation, just like how he blows you away like that. It's a plant, and he's using his pedal to blow us away. Can you hit his face now? Thank you. I'm gonna get rid of you because it. Oops, that shouldn't have happened. Get up, Wario. No, don't do that. Two flip stings. Oh no. Yep. Be careful. Trying to suck me in. By the way, again, if you remember from other fights. When he, and as we saw earlier, if he jumps like that, he'll make us go, he'll dizzy us. That doesn't make sense. He'll make us get dizzy. Oh, and he did it again. I like this environment just at night. Nice and pretty. Oh, I have to run. Don't hit. I hit. You can try running away, but it's hard while holding an enemy. Now, can you do it this time? And let's avoid this. I don't know if you noticed this yet, yeah, but this fight is kind of similar to some of the fights in old Super Nintendo games. Like, stop getting knocked over, Wario. Like, there's the fight with the barrel named Belcha in Donkey Kong Country 3, and the, and the creature Crocomire from Super Metroid. Do you remember those fights and how we have to fight them? We have to just knock them to one side. We have to push them to the right, and that's what we're doing. Can you get him, Bend and Arrow? Watch out. Nope. Okay. Good. See? We're knocking him to that end. Oh no, he's trapped us. Whatever shall we do? Well, first we need to get rid of this guy's armor. And can I... I got that garlic. Now watch out for this. If you want it, you have to keep this guy, so... He'll first suck and then blow. Take that for what you will. We're knocking him to the side. We're almost done with this. So you have to have that, you have to have this 
a uh, boom de Nero and take him down to a bend de Nero. Beware of these guys. First he'll start blowing in, run to the left, then run to the right because he'll start blowing you away. Ooh. Thank you, I was afraid that I might have lost that guy. Aw, can I get you from here? I could have, but... No, 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 don't hit me. Goodbye, Bandanero. You lived a good life. I don't know what I was going to say a little bit ago, but oh well. Stop that, please. We've well, almost got him down. And we're back to full health. How oh, nice. Run to the left, and to the right, to the right. Don't hit that vine. Good. You should be in the bag. Oh no, no, what? where's the ground, where's the ground? Help! He looked all weird when he, with that sped up animation. And here's our fourth medallion. We have got it. We have cleared world four. Great job, Wario. This game is going by really fast, as it should, because this game is really short and fairly easy. If you don't know what you're doing, it will be a lot harder, but fortunately I play this game a lot in practice, and I play this game so many times in practice just so I could get the levels down, so I'd know what I'd be doing better, and that's kind of gotten a little bit boring for me. Not to the point where I'm starting to hate playing this game, because I'm at least liking recording this for you guys. We've got the fourth emblem. Let's take a look at it. Here's our emblem. Symbol of the ancient civilization. Symbol of the free... Wheeling Roadhog, symbol of the first and last humor machine, this is for Tortlebot, and symbol of the evil potted dictator. Apparently Bloomsday was a dictator, I don't know, just take it for what you will. I play this game so much in practice that it's kind of getting a little boring, but I'm still liking recording this for you and showing and just doing this commentary. Now let's get, now let's go to Captain Syrups to buy our last world map. Yes, yes, I know. Stop, stop. We have more than enough for this. And now, ooh, we only need one more for Heart Vessel, and we have all the health in, in the game. And I'm not gonna buy these. Just because I don't want to buy them. We'll have so much money in the end. It's quite ridiculous. So anyway, we've got a lot. Let's just go out. Sorry for my silence. I'm just not thinking of what to say. Com you know, commentary coming up for com coming up with commentary for Let's Plays is hard. It just comes to you. It's all just comes to you. And now we have World Five, the last of the main worlds in the game. After that, we'll be able to take on the Shake King. Shot that Wario. That's disgusting. We've unlocked Quiver Cliffs. This is probably my favorite world in the game. It has probably my favorite levels in the whole game. So, I'll be really excited to start that up. But I won't do that in this episode. In this, I think I'll go back and try to get the last stuff of the main levels. And by the way, the secret level that I unlocked, I don't think I'll do that until after I beat the game. Just... Just because I don't want to do that yet. So anyway, let's... I'll meet you back to where we have to find the second treasure, because I think I know where to find that now. So I'll see you in a bit. Oh, and by the way, I beat the no damage mission and don't fall into the water missions off screen, just in case you know. So I'll see you in a bit. Alright, I think it's around this area, so let's see what I have to do. I can't really remember. I think I need to use the dash radar that's up above. Get out of here. Boom de Nero. Uh, shake, what's wrong with the remote? I was shaking and it wouldn't wasn't doing anything. Weird. Do I need to get new remotes? Hopefully not. Give me those gold coins. So yeah, what I think I have to do is I have to use this, and then go down, see if I'm right. Oh, don't eat me. Duck down. Yep, this should be where our final treasure is. Should have remembered this, but oh well. Do not eat me. Yep, here's our last treasure. So this is going to be a bit tricky. Oh, hold on, I think I... 
Ugh, I felt a little bit of burp, burp. So we need to have all these Venus Guy Traps held down, so... Let's just duck down here, and here's what we do. Let them try to eat me, turn around. And don't do that. You have to jump on them just right so that you'll actually run across and then hit that metal block and get to the treasure. Oh, that was bad. I think I have to turn sooner. Ugh, this is probably going to be really irritating. After this, I'll probably go back to Windbreak Bay and try to get those coin missions. Up, oh, got it! There we go. Flower works. Interesting. And after after we do Windbreak Bay, I'll I'll read the treasure titles or what the treasure descriptions say for this world. So I'll meet you in Windbreak Bay. Phew! Magic effect, and now we're in Windbreak Bay. I looked up online to see the best strategy to get these missions, and I'll see if I can replicate that best throughout here. If this doesn't go well, I'll retry as many times as I need. So yeah, just kill as many enemies as you can. And the point that I think we have to get to to get that to start collecting the silver coins, I'll let you know. Is that one of the branching paths in this level? So hopefully I can get both coin-related missions in this level. You know, speaking of the secret levels, I, in, since I've done this all in my practice file, I do know where the secret maps are now located. I think we have to go up here. Yeah, go up. I'm trying to remember the best way to do this. So yeah, I know where all the locations of the secret maps are, but I just want to show you... Just wait until after we beat the game to show you how the game will, will let us know where to find the secret map. So yeah, I'll do that. All the fishies. Just look at all the fishies. They're all swimming with us. So pretty. So what way do I have to go now? I think I have to go... Up. I think I have to go up. Okay, yep, yeah, up. Just keep shooting... Just keep killing the enemies. It will not start collecting the... The gold coins just yet. Ow. Stupid spike bar. Pilot the sub, Wario. And watch out for the Jalopus. I think we have to go down. Yep. I think this is where we have to start collecting gold coins, so... This is where... No, wait. Actually, I don't think this is where we have to do it just yet. I'm just trying to remember the best way that online walkthrough did it because I don't remember the best way I do it myself. Alright, here's a diamond. Yay! Hopefully I'll get enough money. Right, submarine? Is there a submarine in the house? Okay, here's a submarine. Okay, okay. Keep killing these guys. Ow, that hurt. Uh, do those big gold coins count against you? Because I think you have... Oh, great. I think I have to only collect the small gold coins. Well, by the way... Okay. Those submarines that we saw back there, once you start getting to those submarines, I'll, I'll put it, an image right up here to show you where exactly you have to start to... I think this is the good, the best place to start doing the ten gold coins in a row. By the way, there's a diamond coming up. Yeah, crap, I think we only have to collect just the small coin. That sucks. Fortunately, the coin, this kind of coin mission in the next underwater level is a lot easier. I won't show off the, you know, collect ten gold coins in a row here. I'll do it in my own time, which will be after this recording. Still recording... Ah, uh, my, my sub warring is broken. I'm still recording this as of July 18th. I'm just trying to pump all these out so that I can, can get a lot of footage for you to work with over my vacation in California. Hope I'm not rushing this. Uh, I think I'm fine right now. My commentary is decent. I just want to get as much com content that I can work with when I'm on my vacation so that you will so that you won't be in the deep when I'm gone. Actually, you know, 
I don't think you need to see this. Be Actually, let me just beat this boss. You will see this. Haha. -ha. You get to see it because I command you to. And don't turn off that video just yet. Just wait until this stupid button boss is killed. I wonder what this thing is called, by the way. This doesn't have an official name, I don't think. Eh, come on, die. I want you to die. Let me just see my missions. Okay, I'm good with the main coins, at least. Alright, we're done. So again, that one... This area right here I'll put up on the screen right now. That's where... That's the best place to start doing the 10 gold coins in a row mission. Remember, you have to get just the small ones and not the big ones, because that will wreck you up, apparently. Which is stupid. So anyway, that's an episode. Thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Spaghettification. Wario goes away with his spaghettification. Poor guy.